Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. I was able to uh, watch the opening segment of Monday Night Raw tonight, basically because I took a, a later lunch uh, than normal at work, and uh, I think that was that was pretty fun. I, I might look to, to start uh, taking my lunch a little bit later in order to catch that first segment of Monday Night Raw to catch the feeling of what's going to be going down, but now that I'm home and I am checking out Monday Night Raw for tonight, this is the uh, December, no, this isn't December, it's January, uh, the January 5th edition of Monday Night Raw. Uh, the second match, or I guess this would be the first match, but the second segment of the, of the night was an Intercontinental title match. Uh, Bad News Barrett going up against Dolph Ziggler. And um, this this looked like a good, exciting match. Of course, everybody knows that Wade Barrett came back uh, from his long injury last week. He beat up uh, Cesaro uh, on Monday Night Raw, which was sort of a surprising thing. I know a lot of people have been looking for Bad News Barrett to be um, some sort of a baby face. Uh, I know that he's came out and he's got, uh, you know, loud... Uh, ovations before, um, you know, when they go on the UK crowd, uh, when they go on the UK tour, the UK crowd always it tends to uh, cheer him, and they and they've uh, you know used him to close out the shows over there because of how much of a, a baby face he is. There, there's no chance of even trying to get this guy to get any heel heat. So, um, you know, beating a guy like Cesaro, I thought that that was you know him coming back much like Ryback did. Uh, that he came back as a babyface. Now here he is pairing off against Dolph Ziggler, maybe, you know, a, a former Intercontinental Champion. I think Barrett's held this belt three times. Um, I think he was uh, the champion back in the core. He lost it to Ezekiel Jackson. He won it from some mystery person. He lost it at 29. He won it back the next day. Um, so maybe this is... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He'd, he'd be a three-time champion, and then coming into this match, you know, he, maybe he just wants to be the Intercontinental Champion. Maybe it's a way of, you know, sort of solidifying him as a main, uh, a mid-carder and uh, being in the mix with Dolph Ziggler. Um, the, the, this match went very, very fast. It was it was basically a surprise pin. Uh, Dolph Ziggler was able to get a, a surprise quick roll-up on Wade Barrett, and then once the, the, the match was, was over, uh, they, they had rang the bell, um, Barrett basically just started beating the crap out of Ziggler, and I was like, "Wow, uh, I guess that face turn didn't last long." And here he is, you know, just you know, solidifying himself as a baby face, uh, maybe trying to get a match at the uh, the Royal Rumble to try and fill out the the small part of the mid card that they need uh, for the show. Maybe having a Dolph Ziggler versus Barrett Intercontinental Championship match. The the beating just kept going on and on and on, and I'm thinking, well, you know, Ziggler doesn't really have anybody that he's feuding with right now. Uh, he hasn't since the, the Luke Harper deal, and Harper's been nowhere to be seen, so now basically we've got something going on here. And then finally Kane pokes his head out of the back, and he comes walking down there. Uh, he apologizes uh, for the lack of communication, but this match is a best of three falls, and Wade Barrett was just continuing the match. Uh, he was, uh, you know, uh, had privilege to this information before it started, but Dolph Ziggler didn't. Uh, so basically from there... Um, basically, you know, Wade Barrett just kept on, you know, putting the beating uh, on the Ziggler. You know, Barrett was able to capture the uh, the second fall, as, as as I think we all thought it was going to do. And uh, from there, uh, we was on to sudden death. So basically, um, you know, Wade Barrett and Ziggler were fighting. Uh, basically, Ziggler was able to hit uh, Wade Barrett with a super kick, and, and from there, Kane jumped up on the uh, the. Um, the apron, trying to buy Barrett some time. From there, Ziggler just got pissed at Kane, so he, yeah, Ziggler hit Kane with his own super kick. Uh, because of that, Wade Barrett was able to get up. He was able to recover. He was able to nail Ziggler with the bull hammer. Uh, and then from there, he just got the 1-2-3 to regain the Intercontinental Championship that he hasn't had in a little while. So it looks like Wade Barrett um, you know, is, in, is in a good spot uh, coming back. He's able to beat Dolph Ziggler, uh, you know, his, who is... He's been in the Intercontinental Championship picture for a good little bit. You know, he lost it to, right before TLC. No, he lost it before Survivor Series in order to get some, uh, you know, some heat on uh, Luke Harper, uh, who was you know, joining that team, becoming a bigger heel than he was, and uh, you know, being able to be a part of and you know, team authority. And um, you know, he's able to win it back at TLC, and then awesome, you know, t and an awesome ladder match. And then here he is in a normal match on Monday Night Raw, building up to uh, the Royal Rumble, loses it. So. Kind of weird. Uh, we got to see what this whole John Cena um, uh, appreciation night is all about. Have to see what this is going to be in the main event. And, of course, we also got the ambulance match coming up. So this should be a fun one. Sit down, grab your popcorn. I got mine. And uh, enjoy some Monday Night Raw.